Lesson 1. Shave your face. I hate shaving. Me too. I just cut myself again. Did you use a new blade? It doesn't matter. Old blades cut, new blades cut. Maybe you should use an electric shaver. They make a lot of noise, but they don't give a close shave. Maybe you should stop shaving. And grow a beard? Sure, why not? Because food and other stuff sticks in my beard. Hmm, here's an idea. Put cream on your face and have the cat lick it off. What? Lesson 2. Walking the dog. Where are you going? I have to walk the dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a little poodle. Poodles bark a lot. They sure do. They bark at everything. They never shut up. Why did you get a poodle? It's my mom's dog. So she likes poodles? She says they're good watchdogs. Lesson 3. Talking Animals Do animals talk to each other? Of course, they talk to each other. What do they talk about? They talk about other animals. <laughs> what else do they talk about? They talk about food and the weather. Do they talk about us? Of course, they talk about us. What do they say about us? They say that we are funny looking. <laughs> We're not funny looking. Animals are funny looking. We're funny looking because we wear clothes. Lesson 4. A new flag. I don't like our flag. What's the matter with it? It's too much like other flags. Yes, a lot of flags have stripes. A flag should be pretty. What should our flag look like? It should have a pretty woman on it. That's ridiculous. You don't like pretty women? Of course I do, but not on our flag. Every nation should have a pretty woman on their flag. You can't go to work carrying up a flag with a woman on it. Lesson 5, Friday the 13th. Today is Friday the 13th. That's a bad day. It's supposed to be unlucky. You're supposed to stay home all day. That's what I do. My friend stayed in a hotel on Friday the 13th. That was a mistake. He stayed on the 13th floor. What happened? Someone stole his laptop. He was asking for it. He learned his lesson. He's home today. Lesson 6. A black screen. Something's wrong with my computer. Exactly what? All I get is a black screen. What's the matter? I think I know because this happened before. What happened before? My hard drive crashed. Oh no, that's bad news. It sure is, but I'm going to call HP first. Just to make sure. Will you lose all your files? No, I always back up my files.
You're smart. Lesson seven. Fill out the form. Will you look at this form? Are you having problems with it? I don't understand some things. Let me help you. What does M I mean? M I stands for middle initial. What does M M slash D D slash Y Y mean? That means month. Day, year. Use numbers. I don't understand. For example, if your birth date is January twelfth, nineteen eighty-seven, write zero one slash twelve slash eighty-seven. Oh, that's simple enough. Always print clearly and fill in the bubbles completely. Lesson eight. Give me a puppy. Mom, I want a puppy. Let me think about it. Why do you have to think about it? Because a puppy costs money. No, it doesn't. Puppies are free. Yes, but a puppy needs shots. Shots for what? So it won't get sick, just like you get shots. I hate shots. And a puppy eats food. Food costs money. No problem. I'll give him food off my plate. Oh no, you don't. Puppies don't eat vegetables. Lesson nine: Digital TV. Are you ready? Ready for what? Ready for the big switch. What are you talking about? The nation is switching to digital TV. Oh, of course I'm ready. Did you buy the converter? No, I don't need a converter because I bought a digital TV. How much was that? It was only about one hundred twenty dollars for a thirteen-inch screen. Does it pick up any digital channels? Oh yes, I get six Korean channels, but nothing in English. Lesson ten. What's so funny? Do you know any good jokes? I can't remember jokes. Neither can I. They go in one ear and out the other. Who makes up all these jokes? Who knows? But there must be a hundred new ones every day. Yes, just in English alone. I wonder if every language has jokes. Of course, people everywhere like good jokes. What do you think people joke about the most? I think most jokes are about women. Oh, really? I think most jokes are about men. Lesson eleven: A lost button. A button came off my shirt. What are you going to do? First, I have to find the button. Where did you lose it? I have no idea. A button is hard to find. Did you look in your pant cuffs? That's a good idea. I found a button in my pant cuffs one time. Let me look. No, it's not there. Many shirts come with an extra button. You're right. This one does have an extra button. Now, all you have to do is sew it on. Lesson twelve: The animal shelter. Let's go to the animal shelter. What do you want to do? I want to get a puppy for my son. That will make him so happy. I'll get him one of those little dogs. One that won't grow up too big. And eat too much. Do you know which one he would like? Oh yes, I took him there yesterday. 
He showed me one that he really liked. I bet you had to drag him away. He wanted to take it home yesterday. I wonder what he'll name it. Lesson 13, The Elephant Yikes! What's that noise? I had to blow my nose. Did you have to blow right next to the phone? Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. I thought a plane had crashed into your house. It wasn't that loud. I will blow my nose sometime for you, and you'll see. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I thought you had an elephant in your house. <laughs> You're funny. What did you say? I think I've gone deaf. I'm going into the bathroom to blow my nose. I'll be right back. Lesson 14. What's on TV? I'm bored. What's on TV? Nothing. There must be something on TV. Nothing that's interesting. What about the new game show? Which one? Deal or no deal? Tell me you're joking. I love that show. I watched it once. That was enough. It's on right now. Let's watch it together. Lesson 15. Life is for living. What's the point? The point of what? Of living. Who knows? You live and then you die. We must be here for some reason. Maybe we're here to have fun. Then why aren't I having fun? Because you're thinking too much. So I should stop thinking? Stop thinking about what the point is. Okay, I'll start thinking about having some fun. Just be patient. Fun doesn't come along every five minutes. Lesson 16. It's so hot. I can't believe how hot it is. It's not even noon yet. That means it will get hotter. I'm dying from the heat. Turn on the air conditioner. It doesn't work. What happened? I don't know. Did you call the repairman? Of course. When is he coming? He's busy, he said, next week. Lesson 17, Dumb and Happy. How smart are you? I don't know. I think I'm average. Did you ever take an IQ test? No, I never did. All I know is that I got A's and B's in school. I wish I was really smart. Don't be ridiculous. What do you mean? If you're going to make a wish, wish that you were really rich or famous. Don't you ever wonder what it's like to be super smart? It must be very lonely. Why is that? Because if you're super smart, no one understands what you're saying. Lesson 18, a bad diet. Mom, I'm hungry. Look in the fridge. I'm looking. There's nothing to eat. Are you sure? It's almost empty. I went to the market yesterday. I don't see anything. I bought lots of oranges and apples. I don't want fruit. I want something tasty. Eat the fruit. It's good for you. Next time you go to the market, let me go with you. No, thank you. All you want to eat are hot dogs and candy bars. Lesson 19, Talk Radio. Do you listen to the radio? I listen day and night.
What do you listen to? Mostly talk radio. What's that? People talk about current events. What do they say? They say they want change. What kind of change? They want tax cuts. Why do they want tax cuts? Because tax cuts will save them money. Lesson twenty. Let's not go out. I hate to go outside. Me too. Why do you hate to go outside? I meet too many jerks. I agree. This city is full of jerks. Rude people are everywhere. But what can you do? You could yell at them, and they will yell back at you. Yelling doesn't do any good. No, the best thing to do is just stay home. Lesson twenty-one. My laptop is so slow. My laptop is so slow. Buy a new one. I would if I had the money. Why is it so slow? That's a good question. Did you take it to a computer shop? I would if I had the money. Well, I guess you have to live with it. Sometimes I want to throw it out the window. You don't want to do that. Why not? You might hit someone in the head. Lesson twenty-two: Your email address. What's your email address? It's Blue Dog One Two Three. Blue Dog One Two Three. Are you sure that's all? Yes. No, that's incomplete. What do you mean? What's your mailing address? Four five six Cherry Drive, Pasadena, California, nine one one seven zero. That's correct. So, what's the problem? Blue Dog One Two Three. Is just the street. You have to give me the city, state, and zip code. Oh, I get it. My email address is blue dog one two three at yahoo dot com. Lesson twenty three. Happy in heaven. My parents go to church every Sunday. They trust in God. They hope they will go to heaven. They probably will, but no one knows for sure. That's for sure. No one knows what happens after we die. If we are good, we will be happy in heaven with God. That's what many people believe. If we are bad, will we be unhappy forever in hell? I don't want to go to hell. Let's go to church with your parents on Sunday. Lesson twenty-four. Dad has a girlfriend. My parents are divorced. So are mine. Why did your parents get divorced? My father found a new girlfriend. That's too bad. My mother was hurt and angry. She had good reason. What did she do? She told him to drop his girlfriend. What did your father do? He moved out of our house. I guess he really liked his new girlfriend. Yes, but she left him a year later. Lesson twenty-five. Time for your bath. It's time for your bath, young lady. But mom, I'm not dirty. You need a bath every day. Why? Because you don't want to smell bad. I don't smell bad. That's what you think. If I smelled bad, I could smell me. I could smell you. I can smell you too. That's my perfume. 
When can I wear perfume? Lesson 26, The New House We need to save money. Why do we need to save money? Because we need to buy a house. But a house is so expensive. That's why we need to save money. How much do we need to save? We need to save enough for a down payment. How much is that? That's about $30,000. $30,000? That will take forever. Not if we save every penny. Okay, here's seven pennies. Lesson 27, write to your grandma. Did you write a letter to grandma? Yes, I did. Did you tell her about school? I told her that school is fun. Did you put the letter in an envelope? Yes, and I sealed the envelope. Did you put a stamp on the envelope? I couldn't find any stamps. They're in the kitchen drawer. Okay, I just put a stamp on the envelope. Give me the envelope and I'll mail it for you. When is Grandma going to learn about email? Lesson 28, A Nice Place to Live I like living here. I agree. Pasadena is a nice city. It's not too big. And it's not too small. It has great weather all year long. It has the Rose Parade. It has beautiful houses. It has wonderful restaurants. It has great schools. It's close to the mountains. The people are friendly. I'm not ever going to leave. Lesson 29. I have a Honda. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. What kind of car do you have? I have a Honda. Is it new? It was new in 2003. So it's pretty old now. Yes, it is, but it still looks good. Do you take good care of it? Oh, yes. I wash it once a week. Do you change the oil? My mechanic changes the oil twice a year. Lesson 30, A Bad Boyfriend I'm upset with my mom. Why is that? I warned her about her new boyfriend. She didn't listen to me. What happened? I gave her a thousand dollars for her birthday. I told her to spend it on herself. That was very nice of you. I found out that she gave it to her new boyfriend. Why did she do that? He said he would buy her a nice ring. What's wrong with that? He went to Las Vegas. He lost it all gambling. Oh, I hope your mom broke up with him. Lesson 31. God is watching. It's Sunday. So? You know what that means. I forgot. Sunday means we go to church. Oh, yeah. Put on a coat and a tie. Why? To show respect to God and others. I'm glad Sunday is only once a week. 
I hope God didn't hear that. He'll forgive me. Lesson 32. You can have some of my friends. I have lots of friends. Really? How many do you have? I don't know, maybe 100? That is a lot of friends. Do you have a best friend? Of course, I have lots of best friends. How many best friends do you have? I think about 25. Hmm, I have only one best friend. I feel sorry for you. I have only a few friends. You must be lonely. I will share my friends with you. That's very nice of you. Lesson 33. What's that smell? My grandma's apartment smells funny. So does mine. I think it's old people smell. Really? Yes. I think when you get old, you begin to smell. Like fruit that is too ripe? Yes, just like fruit that is too ripe. But the smell is different. Yes, old people don't smell like fruit. No, they smell like a thrift shop. Yes, a thrift shop has that same smell. Yes, and an old smell. Lesson 34, time for a nap. I'm going to take a nap. You should unplug the phone. That's a good idea. Do you want me to wake you in an hour? No, thanks. Just let me sleep until I wake up. I'll start dinner at 6 o'clock. Okay. I think I'll be awake by then. If not, your nose will wake you up. You mean I will smell the food cooking? You might even dream about dinner. I don't think I'm going to dream about anything. I'm really tired. Have a nice nap. Lesson 35. Washed and folded. Did you do the laundry? Yes, I did. What did you wash? I washed the sheets and towels. What about the pillowcases? Yes, I took them off the pillows and washed them. Did you dry everything in the dryer? Yes, I dried everything in the dryer. Then what did you do? I folded all the towels. Did you put the sheets on the bed? Yes, I put the pillowcases on the pillows. Lesson 36, a tough choice. Beer is a powerful drug. So are cigarettes. Which would you prefer? What do you mean? When you die and go to heaven, they will offer you beer or cigarettes. I could pick only one or the other. Yes, nothing's perfect, not even in heaven. Boy, that's a tough one. What's so tough about it? Of course, I would pick cigarettes. But cigarettes taste much better when you have a cold beer. Well, you can't have everything. I don't think I want to go to your heaven. Lesson 37, Mother's Day. What are you getting for your mom? What are you talking about? Sunday is Mother's Day. This Sunday? Of course. It's all over the news. I thought it was next Sunday. Well, you better get her something. I'll get her a nice card. Is that it? Yes, that's all I ever give her. She raised you and all you ever gave her is a card? It's okay. She knows that I love her. Lesson 38. It's the only earth we've got. Do you know what today is? Yes, it's April 22nd. It's more than just a date. Is it your birthday or anniversary? No, it's Earth Day. What's that? 
It's a yearly reminder to take care of our planet. Oh, you mean like reuse things and recycle stuff? Yes, we need to think green, save water, and stop using plastic bags. How about if I take shorter showers? That's a good idea because showers waste a lot of water. From now on, I'll spend only twenty minutes in the shower. Lesson thirty-nine: The ATM. I'm going to the bank. What do you need to do? I need to withdraw some money. How are you going to do that? I'll just use the ATM. What's that? It's the automatic teller machine. It gives you money. I just insert my debit card into the machine. And it gives you money. Well, it gives me money, but it's my own money. Oh, what good is that? I thought it gave you free money. Lesson forty: Life after death. What are you going to do about your death? Well, mostly I'll try to avoid it. I mean, are you going to get buried or cremated? My wife and I will be cremated. Are you going to be buried next to each other? Oh no, our ashes will be shaken into the ocean. You're not gonna be buried. A coffin costs too much and takes up too much space. Yes, but it will be in a cemetery where your children can visit you. Children seldom visit their parents in the cemetery. That's true. A cemetery is for dead people, not living people. We figure our kids can visit us whenever they go to the beach. Lesson forty-one: Thinking about his funeral. That was a nice funeral. Yes, Dad, it was. The son gave a nice speech about his father. It was long too. I think it was about forty-five minutes long. But it went by fast. It was interesting. I liked it. I'll give you a speech like that too. Do you think anyone will come to my funeral? Of course. I think only the family will be there. You have lots of friends. They will be there too. Lesson forty-two. Is it raining? What's the weather like? I don't know. I just woke up. Why don't you look outside? Okay. It looks like rain. Why do you say that? The sky is gray. Is it raining right now? No. How do you know? The street isn't wet. I have to go shopping today. You'd better take an umbrella. Lesson forty-three. I live in Pasadena. Where do you live? I live in Pasadena. Where is Pasadena? It's in California. Is it in Northern California? No, it's in Southern California. Is Pasadena a big city? It's pretty big. How big is pretty big? It has about a hundred and forty thousand people. How big is Los Angeles? It has about three million people. Lesson forty-four. Are you sleepy? Why are you yawning? I'm sleepy. Why don't you go to bed? I want to watch this TV show. Maybe you should record it. The tape recorder is broken. Then you should watch the rerun. Why? I'm watching the original. But you'll be asleep in about one minute. I'm just yawning because the commercials are on. Okay, 
I'll tell you how the show ends. Lesson 45, Two Polite People. Excuse me. Yes? Are you reading this paper? Oh, no. Help yourself. I asked because the paper is sitting next to you. Thank you. That's polite of you to ask. Some people would just pick it up. Yes, I know some people are rude. I always try to be polite. So do I. The world needs more polite people like us. I agree 100%. Lesson 46, going to the beach. Let's go to the beach. That's a great idea. We haven't been in a while. We haven't been in a month. The last time we went, you almost drowned. No, I didn't. Then why did the lifeguard dive into the water? I think he wanted to cool off. He swam right up to you. And then he turned right around. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should get going. Lesson 47. Fish are everywhere. The ocean is so big. You can't see the end of it. It goes on and on forever. And it's deep, too. I think it's five miles deep. Are there fish at the bottom? There are fish at the top and the bottom. Are there more fish or more people? I think there are more fish. I hope so. I love to eat fish. Lesson 48. Did you say something? I have to go to the bathroom. You drink too much coffee. But I love coffee. Well, it's your life. You eat too much chocolate. I don't think so. Have you looked in the mirror? Do you think I'm getting fat? I didn't say that. What did you say? I said I have to go to the bathroom. That's what I thought you said. Lesson 49. Kittens to give away. Look at all these kittens. How many are there? Eight. They're all so cute. Yes, but I can't keep them. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to give them away. Do you want one? Yes, I would love one. Which one do you want? That one. The one that's all black. Yes, I like that one, too. I'll call him Blackie. Lesson 50. If you cheat, you will die. Don't you ever cheat on me. Why would I do that? Because men like to cheat. Some men do, but not me. I'm watching you. I'm an open book. Watch me all you want. If I catch you, you'll be sorry. You won't catch me because I love you. I'm not a cheater. I will poke your eyes out. I don't want any other woman. I will chop your toes off one by one. Honey, please. You're the only woman for me forever. I swear it. Lesson 51. Two little ones. I'm worried. Worried about what? I'm getting married. You should be happy, not worried. 
I am happy, but marriage is a lot of responsibility. Yes, you have to take care of your wife. And I have to take care of our children. Are you going to start a family? Yes, we want to have a little boy and a little girl. That sounds wonderful. Except we can't afford it. No wonder you're worried. Lesson 52, Work Up an Appetite. I had a busy morning. What did you do? I watered all the plants. You have a lot of plants. Then I did my laundry. That takes some time. I took the dog for a walk. I'll bet he enjoyed his walk. I vacuumed the entire house. That's a lot of work. And then I made lunch. I'll bet you were hungry. Lesson 53, A Snowman. I'll be glad when winter comes. Why is that? Because I love the snow. Yes, the snow is fun. Last year, we made a big snowman. How big was it? It was seven feet tall. How long did it take? It took us all day. Did you give him a nose? Of course. We gave him a big carrot for a nose. Let me help you make one this year. Lesson 54, Don't Be a Racist. The police need our help finding a robber. How do you know? The TV news is reporting a bank robbery. Do they know what the robber looks like? Yes, he's six feet tall, 200 pounds, black hair, and about 30 years old. What race is he? They didn't say. The TV news doesn't tell us the race anymore? Of course not. That would be racist. How can we identify someone if we don't know their race? Don't ask me. Then they also shouldn't tell us if the robber is male or female because that is sexist. Lesson 55. They deliver. The price of stamps goes up and up. I think stamps used to cost a penny. That was a long time ago. It was before I was born. Now a stamp is 42 cents. But in May it will be 44 cents. Have you ever lost a letter in the mail? No, I haven't. Neither have I. So, they do a good job for the money. Yes, they do. Maybe we shouldn't complain. Lesson 56. His line is never busy. My husband died. I'm sorry for you. Thank you. When did he die? A couple of months ago. You still miss him? Yes, but I talk to him almost every day. When you go to church? No, when I call him on his cell phone. What do you mean? I buried him with his cell phone. What will you do when the battery dies? Lesson 57, The New Mattress we need a new mattress. What's the matter with this one? It's not comfortable. It seems fine to me. I toss and turn all night. You should stop drinking coffee. Look at these marks on my arms. What are they? They are bites. Did the cat bite you? No, the bed bugs in that mattress bit me. Okay, let's get a new mattress. 
Lesson 58. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Do you? I don't have a girlfriend either. Why not? I don't know. Maybe I'm not rich enough. Girls like guys with money. They sure do. They like guys with new cars. I don't have money or a new car. Me neither. But girls like guys who are funny. Yeah, maybe we should learn some good jokes. Lesson 59, Feed the Cat. Did you feed the cat? I'll do that in a minute. That cat is meowing. He's hungry. Okay, I'll feed him right now. You shouldn't make him wait. I was doing my homework. The cat doesn't care about your homework. The cat doesn't care about anything. That's the way cats are. All they think about is themselves. Maybe we should get rid of him. Of course not. He's family. Lesson 60, House Cleaning Day. I have to clean the house. Yes, it's very dirty. You can help me. Why me? Because you helped make it dirty. What do you want me to do? I want you to clean the bathroom. Oh, that's easy. Clean the sink, the tub, the counter, and the toilet. That's a lot of work. Tell me when you finish. I don't think so. You'll just give me more work. Lesson 61, a new hard drive. I called HP about my computer. What did they say? They said I need a new hard drive. That's too bad. How much is a new one? It's not too much. Only about $85. Plus installation? No, my hard drive is easy to remove and replace. Really? Yes, it's just a couple of screws. That's nice. It's a lot better than paying someone $60. If my hard drive crashes, I'll just call you. Lesson 62. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Of course. Prove it. How can I prove it? Take me to dinner. That's it? That's all I have to do? Take me to a nice restaurant, not to McDonald's. But a nice restaurant costs money. Yes, and you have to make a reservation. That's such a hassle. I knew you didn't love me. Okay, okay. I'll make a reservation right now. Lesson 63, Borrowing Money. Can I borrow five dollars? Sure. Why do you need it? I want to buy lunch. Where's your money? It's not in my wallet. Your wallet is empty? I don't have even one dollar in it. Being broke is no fun. Even if it's only for a short while. It's always good to have friends. Friends will lend you money when you're broke. As long as you pay them back. Word. Lesson 64. A TV Lover. 
You're watching too much TV. What do you mean? I mean you're wasting your life. I'm having fun. You're sitting there with your mouth open. Who cares? I care. Do something. Okay, I did something. What did you do? I turned up the volume. <laughs> That's not what I meant by do something. Well, you do something. Leave me alone. Lesson sixty-five: A ham sandwich. What is there to eat? I don't know. Look in the fridge. I think I'll make a sandwich. What kind? A ham sandwich. The bread is in the cabinet. Where's the mustard? It's in the fridge, I think. Oh yes, here it is. Do you want a sandwich? Yes, that sounds nice. How about some potato chips? Yes, and a pickle if we have any. Lesson sixty-six, live from NBC Four. I missed the TV news last night. What was on? Nothing that would pass as news. What's the weather going to be like this weekend? I don't know. Whenever the weather comes on, I switch channels. What was the lead story on the news? Some actress was in court for driving without a license. What was the second story? Some actor married a woman young enough to be his daughter. What was the third story? A bull chased a man in a supermarket. Wasn't there anything about Octo Mom? Of course, she's going to hire a nanny for her eight infants. Lesson sixty-seven: Move the blue bin. Did you put the blue bin out on the street? Oh no, I forgot. Well, you'd better take it out front. What time does the recycling truck come by? It usually gets here at noon on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. I'll just take it out to the street tomorrow morning. Oh no, you don't. What do you mean? Every morning you get up late and rush off to work late. Do you think I'll forget to do it? You'll remember to do it, but you won't have time to do it. Okay, I'll take it out front right now. Lesson sixty-eight. How about a pizza? What's for dinner? I'm not sure. How about a pizza? You had pizza for lunch. But I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza. So why can't I have pizza for dinner? Because you need a variety. What's variety? Different things, not the same thing all the time. You mean like pepperoni pizza instead of a cheese pizza? No, I mean a salad instead of a pizza. Lesson sixty-nine. No time for rhyme. Poetry sucks. I don't know anyone who likes it. Some of it is okay, I guess. Yes, the poems that rhyme and are easy to remember. Like one, two, buckle my shoe. But people still write poems. No one makes any money at it. Shakespeare was a poet. Did he get rich from his poetry? Probably not. Poems are a little bit like songs. Yes, but songs have music. Without music, songs would suck too. Lesson seventy. My wife left me. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. When did you get divorced? 
I got divorced two years ago. Why did you get divorced? My wife left me. Why did she leave you? She said she didn't love me anymore. Wow, that's terrible. Yes, it was. Why didn't she love you anymore? She fell in love with my best friend. Lesson 71 Wipe Your Feet. Did you wipe your feet? Yes, of course I wiped my feet. Then why is there mud on the carpet? I don't know. It's not my mud. Well, someone brought it into the house. Look at the bottom of my shoes. They're clean. Of course they're clean. You left all the mud on the carpet. Okay, I'll get the vacuum cleaner. Don't vacuum it now. Don't you want me to clean up the mud? Wait till it dries. It will be easier to vacuum. Next time I will be more careful. Lesson 72. Just shoot me. People are funny. They sure are. Did you hear about the pilot? The one that stole a small plane? Yes. He stole a plane in Canada and flew it into the U.S. Did they catch him? Yes. After two U.S. fighter jets followed him for an hour, he landed on a highway. Did he crash? No. He just landed the plane and walked to a restaurant. Did the cops find out why he flew into the U.S.? His life sucked. He was hoping a fighter jet would shoot him down. Poor guy. Lesson 73, Spanish spoken here. You're very lucky. Why do you say that? You speak two languages. Well, my English isn't perfect. No one speaks perfect English. Maybe I'll be the first. I've been thinking about learning Spanish. Spanish is easy. I'll be happy to teach you. How long will it take me to learn? I think it will only take you a year or two. How soon can we begin? Ahora. That means right now. Lesson 74. But is it art? I don't get art. Or artists. They're in a different world. I saw a painting of a jar that was full of pencils. The artist said the jar was both full and empty. But it was full of pencils. How could he say it was empty? Artists see things differently. Did you ever see anything that Picasso painted? Of course, he's world famous. Did he ever take art lessons? I can't believe it. I drew paintings like that in third grade. Where are they? Maybe they are worth millions. Lesson 75. Patch it or sew it? My pants have a hole in the front pocket. You shouldn't carry pens in your pocket. Yesterday, a pen fell through my pants onto my shoe. Lucky for you, it wasn't a sharp knife. Who carries a sharp knife in their pocket? Criminals, of course. Anyway, I have to fix the hole. You can sew it up or use an iron-on patch. Tell me about this patch. The patch has glue. The hot iron melts the glue so the patch sticks on. That sounds a lot easier than sewing. It is, but after about ten washings, the glue washes off. Lesson 76. Use a tissue. Don't wipe your nose on your sleeve. But I don't have a tissue. Then go find a tissue in the bathroom. I didn't have time to get one from there. Your sleeves are not tissues. But mom, all my friends use their sleeves. That doesn't make it right. I saw dad wipe his nose on his sleeve yesterday. 
I will talk to your father about that. I bet Dad did it all the time when he was my age. Your daddy was a good little boy. How do you know? Were you his mommy too? Lesson seventy-seven. Dialing for a dollar. I don't have long distance service with my home phone. So how do you make long distance calls? I use a calling card. Where do you get that? I buy it at the dollar store. How much is it? It's one dollar for one hundred minutes. That's only a penny a minute. It's a great price, but you have to dial a lot of numbers. How many? First, you dial seven numbers, then ten numbers, then ten more numbers. Yikes! I think I'll keep my long distance service.